Hi guys and welcome back to Train Simulator 2015. Now again today we're going to be driving on the Riviera Line and I and this is going to be the second part of three parts we're going to do on the Riviera Line. And we are going to be driving today the usual class 143 DMU First Great Western and they are known as Paces. I'm going to be doing the first look career scenario which is um, drive the first refurbished class 143 to Dawlish to see how the commuters land the new look and feel. 20 minutes easy. Right, we are here. Oh, oh, this one they must be showing all the refurbished. That's nice how they've included all of this. Oh, actually, actual moving men. Goodness me. Right, here's our train. It's going to be our train. Drive this brand new class 143 on the 3 o'clock. Passenger service down to door. This, must be, this will be the first commuter's first time on the service. So make sure you are out to please everyone. Good luck, driver. Okay. Right. Stick it in forward. And open our doors. Right, let's well put the lights on as well. Now, those people don't seem to like these trains, however, on Gen Simulator they're really well done. Like, I, I love how they've done the brake and it's, it's really nicely well done. And also, in this scenario, I have just noticed, look, there's a HST coming in. <laughs> Let's see. It's coming in pretty slow, isn't it? This is supposed to be like the new, the new refurbished ones. We're driving to Dawlish. These trains are only actually operated by two operating companies: First Great Western and um, Northern Rail. Yeah, no, North. Yeah, Northern Rail. Northern Rail it is. Right, the train is ready to go. I think we're gonna have a race with this HST in a minute. Who's gonna close? Can't oh, we wanna get on? Right, pilot's bonus plus two hundred. Here we go. Right. Doors going to close? Yes, they are. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> HSG's trying to come in, but we are already going. Right, there we are. We are off in our rather nice looking 143 Pixar. We also have a two tone horn. If you were wondering. Right. But, uh, up this a bit more so we start to get some more acceleration out of it. <coughs> Lovely. There's another, another place here waiting. Obviously we're the only ones in service, so this one must not be in service. There's a reason, by the way, guys, that there's a... I found out that, because, you know, these trains have, like, have such a resemblance to a bus. It's basically because they're made out of old bus parts, apparently is what I found out. So basically they took old buses apart and then made a train out of them because it was seen as a, a cheaper alternative to, to um, just, you know, making a, a brand new train that was the ways back then. Right, so we are coming up to our first station, Exeter St Thomas. The brakes are really good on this train so we should have no issue stopping. Nice bit of um, scenery though. Um, rather nicely represented. Right, I think we're going to stop perfectly here. Um, 
use gentle stop when you're having to use step one. And our first stop complete. Right. Well, Exodus in Thomas looks really nice, quite nicely re recaptured like this. This looks like there's a quite a lot, lot of um, scenery as far as I can see. Mm. Oh, they've been, they bothered to um, make the doors look like they open though in the inside, which is good. Alright, we're going to see them close. Going to scratch to that. It does. Excellent. All right, let's go. Hello. There we go. Trains have quite good. Ex the trains have actually quite good acceleration. For you know, you might think a train looking like this would. Um, not have very good acceleration, but it is actually a rather nice train to drive. However, the Innsbruck driver, for some reason, only seems to go halfway down your um, your screen, which can, your win your window. So sometimes get a little bit annoying. A little fan as well. Look, I don't think we can make it go. Do we go? Is it actually moving in there? Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah, you can make it go. Quite sure why it isn't going very fast. So I don't want to blow you very much air on you, is it? Right, hundred miles an hour. Here we go. I doubt these trains are like will I ever get to 100 miles an hour. I think 70 is their maximum kind of full out pace, really. No, but they're still still climbing quite quickly at 55 though. Hmm. Doing all right. Oh, that's all that means. There is a whistle, a crossing coming up. They're always good to get nice flybys at. I believe. Here we go, we can test out the two turn horn. Mm. Our acceleration does seem to have slightly gone off, but we're still climbing quite, quite quickly. Oh, come on. Go faster. Oh, nice low shot of it going fast. Quite noisy trains, aren't they? I mean, quite. I mean, in cab it's reasonable, but for passengers this is just a bit too loud, really. Um, can this window open? Anything up here? Do anything? Can this do anything up there? No. No, it's, it's, it's okay by way of standards and detail, but it's not amazing. Yeah. So it's an okay train. It's, it's, it's rather nice to drive if you just want to, you know, drive quite a nice, a nice stopping train. It's very good for what it does. However, I find it kind of an irritating that they put very much the ugliest train ever on the network on the probably the most prettiest section of line. It's a bit annoying. So, I th and I think they're ready to get be replaced now. They're a bit, they, they yeah, they're, they're the capacity during the summers just on the floor for these two kind of trains. I'm really not. They're really not capable anymore. Because look at them, you know, they can hardly hold very many people. Mm, I told you, we are just climbing above up to 72 now. So yeah, I think 
Small Brooks in four miles, so I suppose we're just going to get there faster and faster, aren't we? It's seven miles between Exeter, St Thomas, and Small Brooks, and it's quite a big gap of um, stations. And we get quite a few crossings actually between here and there. doing this accidentally not zooming out. Right, yeah, we're really, really struggling now to get any acceleration in there whatsoever now. 75 limit coming up, so we might we might pass it there. We might pass it as we've just kind of got to 75. Star Cross is in just over just under three miles now. Dicking down quite fast. We'll probably come onto our screen in about a mile. Alright, there we go. We've hit 75 now. Oh, hello. Now, what does that mean? Is that why we've got a yellow? Hmm. No yellow yet. Still gaining speed on 75 in there. Still doing fine. Another crossing. And there is the seventy five mile an hour limit. Straight away we go round and oh, that's a horrible looking curve. <laughs> Look at that! How's that 70 mile an hour 75 mile an hour curve? I have absolutely no idea. I've just noticed it's got my little names on the side as part of the livery. What does it say? Southwest Coast Path, Portland, Bill. Tresco, this must be all, like all the spaces that um, First Great Western kind of go, isn't it? Because it, it sounded like all the places in kind of like of importance where you can go to in um, on First Great Western's network, which I suppose is quite a cool idea actually. of slowing down a bit too fast because I'm now rather late so I'm going to floor it if I'm in on full service because I'm actually currently 30 seconds late which is never a good thing right so we're still getting green signals Coming in nice and fast. Saying we have a saying we have a um ETA of about 35 seconds. I'm gonna put it into full service now as we come in. I think this should actually be quite a perfect stop. The train has some good brakes. As long as I just keep it on full service, we should stop reasonably well. Go on, do it 30 for me. Go on, go on, go on. Stop, 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 stop. Excellent. Perfect stop. Look at this though. I mean compared to the Voyager one it looks so much better. Much better. I have to say. Alright, are we going to get another 200 points of this? Are we going to get 200? Yes, we are. Who's we'll close it? And off we go.
next stop is Dawlish Water. It's probably the best section of line to drive on this bit. It's probably. It's just really, <laughs> really beautiful. I mean, first you go past this bit, which is all harbour and then you go into like the seaside resort, which is Dawlish. And then it goes into this lovely. So it first goes through all this lovely country trial and fields, then it goes past all this lovely harbour, then it goes into fields again for a bit. Um, then it goes onto a really beautiful coast, then it goes back into a nice countryside again. I mean, it couldn't be better, really. Well, it probably could, but, but. I mean, it's, 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 as, it's as good as you're probably going to get in England, really. Probably the prettiest section of mine. Definitely around this this kind of part of the country I, I would have thought and it's like a hot spot for rail tours right 80 miles an hour now let's go let's go see that crossing which is just a pixel I've just seen that whistle board which is a automatic indicator of a crossing and I might have just gone past it <laughs> I've just gone past the crossing whoops oh dear There you go then. Right, I've just noticed that we have a 25 mile an hour speed limit coming into Dawlish Warren and an AWS is about to go off. There we go, single yellow. Oh, it's actually a flashing yellow, which means if there's no kind of thing, a space for double yellow, it basically means that um, it'll flash. However, there does seem to be space for a double yellow, which is a little bit strange. It's a bit weird. So it means that the next kind of signal should be um, should be just a yellow. Let's see. Oh. Right, yes it is. Just not flashing yellow this time. Okay, let's slow down nicely. There we go, perfect. Perfect, we're coming off onto like the far kind of line. Probably running 20 seconds late. 21 seconds late now. And here we go, over onto the far track. Probably going to run like this until do we get much closer to this station? Right. Let's put the brakes on a bit. Right. Here we go. Right, let's put it on full service and just screech our way into this station. And here we are. Excellent. I hope we get another um, 200. We probably deserve it. Right. Yes, 200. Alright. Doors closed. Go. 25 mile an hour speed limit this time, so we need to accelerate. Not as fast as usual. And there we go. Oh, there's another pacer coming in just there. Some old rail carriages over there. What were they used for, I wonder? Hmm. Look like they they've got their kind of connection doors being cut off. Hmm. Alright, here we go, 80 miles an hour. And then straight into a 70. 
two seconds late can be on our on the next stop, which is Dawlish. So if we just keep it on a hundred and don't break too early, we should be absolutely fine. God, the tilt is right over. Look at the the G force on the on the left of our screen. It's really really high. Right, seventy five. And then a 60 coming into Dawlish, however, I very much doubt we were going 60 into Dawlish. Is that two greens there above the... on the, uh... gangway there? Why on earth are there two greens? Why would you be... That's a bit silly, isn't it? Right, okay. Coming up to Dawlish now, our next stop will be Dawlish. We're currently running 15 seconds late, so we probably want to come in a nice and fast just to get that slightly down. Right. Let's just get it up a bit more. So we can run in nice and fast, keep it from going over what we wanted to go over. And slowly run into Dawlish. Right, okay. We're just on full service now. We'll just kind of hope for the best. Now. Here we go. Right. We are now coming into Dawlish. This is Dawlish. Right, so a little bit early for like the conveniences down there on the other end of the platform however I'm trying to keep the time here everybody's gonna have to walk around yeah you ain't you ain't gonna make it they are not gonna make it yeah. sorry they've stopped a little bit too early for some people's liking but I don't think there's any like markers so you can stop all that Right. We're going to get another 200. Yeah, it's all under There seems to be a lot of talk between the producers. Let's hope it's all positive regarding the look and feel of the first one. We provide a nice run for them. And we got full points. Yes! Right, let's watch it go fully up. <gasps> full points. Oh, yeah. Did we get top? No, we weren't one of the top people. But, meh. Oh. Wow, look, we actually get no minuses. Everything's perfect. 200, 200, 200 for tim timeliness. Everything's perfect. So, yes, that was the pace of it. That was the uh, 143 pa 143 pacer on the Riviera line. Just a quick 20 minute video there. Uh, next one on the Riviera line will be on the Cast Club. And then that will be it for the Riviera line. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for what DLCs or scenarios you'd like me to play or get next, please just comment. And until next time, guys, bye bye.